Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed D Gaza Diva and welcome back to the Blessed D Gaza Diva channel. Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel, you are indeed the lifeline of dancehall and Jamaica music in the entire world universe. Five scartel words come to pass yet again. You're not like anyone else. You find the way you are. Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room. Send us up to the time, you know it's cartel. Representing for Blessed D, Gaza Diva. I'm out. A group of Jamaicans staged a peaceful protest in front of the corporate area head offices of Jamaica Pussoul Services earlier today as part of further public outcry in recent days. Following revelations that the entity has been filtering a part of the cost of electricity theft by some unscrupulous citizens into the bills of unsuspecting law-abiding customers. <laughs> well, you see me, when my light bill comes, I'm very meticulous with it and I go through it up and down. I recalled they charged me over, let's say, over $30,000 once. And a, a big enough home to be able to rack up a hefty bill, but not that hefty. When I did my checking and my digging and my searching, luckily for me, I wasn't being charged for the theft of electricity by unscrupulous people. Um, but lo and behold, the guy who came to read my meter apparently took one of the numbers incorrectly and took it into the office. When I called JPS, they went on and on and on and on and on. Well, Miss Diva, I am pretty sure that you racked up this bill and we have um, proof that it was used. I said, have you looked at my bill consistently, monthly, to see what my charges are? So how are you going to then say that I, Diva, racked up that bill? Well, you know, Miss Diva, you know, we don't know what happened. Apparently, probably somebody used the bill this time and, you know, you're not aware of it. I'm like, are you guys for real? I wasn't even in the country for half of the time. So what are you saying? Listen to me. You are going to put me onto somebody that is making sense because you are not making any, any sense to me right now. Well, you know, you're being rude. I said, oh yeah, I am being rude and you are being a thief. Now you put me onto your supervisor or else. Anyhow, I got over, I, I was placed over to the supervisor. When I spoke with him and we got down into a 30 minute discussion, he realized that's how he realized the number was wrong. Man had to send me outside, climb up on piece of chair, look on meter, read off the meter number and tell him what it was, only to hear that my bill was 80% higher than what it was supposed to be. And you know from then who watches JPS like a hawk. And I say to myself, how many other customers have suffered this fate? How many other customers have they actually read the meters incorrectly for? And the customer just absorbed the cost, no questions, and they go and pay it. Let me tell you, you can't be a fool in this society, especially with Jamaica Pussy World Service. They are indeed Jamaica Pussy World Service. So, Vibes Cartel made this video some years ago, and I know he was hauled over the, the coals by upper class, UTG, and upper management like he was trying to bring down their establishment and bring down their entity but lo and behold a few hours ago in new kingston out of the jps's head office there was a protest because they are now feeling the pinch now the upper class is feeling the pinch and you notice how this protest went on and a lot of persons did not hear about it yes once you see this sort of behavior it's the utg people and trust me I know it's the UTG people, but make it with some ghetto people. They call police on them. 
and they, they bring down all kind of, kind of drama on them, but they're only bringing it or, or bringing it to the JPS or taking it to JPS, like we say, only because they are now feeling the pinch of it. Now, they classify me in that category, but I don't know what they're talking about. UTP, <laughs> Uptown Gaza, me rep for life. I'm not rep nothing with them people are rep. But anyhow, let's cut to the chase. Get into the Vibes Cartel video. And you will see this man standing on the corner, right? With a placard. And on that placard, it reads Vibes Cartel's word. So on the card, it read Jamaica P dot 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 service the missing factor is question mark and vibes cartel will tell you what it is jamaica pussy wall service people this is the reason why vice cartel have to call himself the dance hall hero i'm not gonna explain to you now why i'm calling myself the dance hall hero and this is just one of the examples a vibes cartel right and this is another installment of Cartel Speaks His Mind. And this installment is chapter 3 and it's called JPS, which as we all know stands for Jamaica Pussy Wall Service. Alright? So, we are talking about the JPS people, them and what they do too. The Energy God. Because they say the Energy God is a thief. Energy. That sounds so <laughs> paradoxical and strange. That is like saying, anyway, them say the, the energy got that if energy. But with me, officer still, and this is not necessarily in defense of elephant man, because if I were in that situation, a lot of them would probably be laughing. Kiki, 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 vice cartel light cut off or whatnot. Who gives a fuck? When you dig a pit, I always dig too. So this is not necessarily in defense of elephant man. This is in defense of ghetto people. And although artists like Elephant Man and Vibes Cartel and others live uptown, we still classified by society as ghetto people. See? So may I show you a simple example why JPS are the biggest pussy world. Before me change my name and change over the utilities bill for the house here in my name. The utilities be like the light bill and so used to still in the previous owner name. Them time they may get some light bill for all $15,000, $12,000. One buck lad, you see, as me change the light bill name and put Adija Palmer. Tell, tell me if you can see it. Tell me when you see it. You see it? Mm. Adija Palmer. Me fly out one February, I think February of this year, me fly out. When me come back, Remember, you know, me, the bill did there, $15,000, $12,000. Since I put my name on it, in a February, I fly out. When I come back, I see a bill for $71,000. See it there? And my woman pay the bill. So when she pay the bill, I come back and see it. I cuss and go and do things. And I say, them JPS people here take off a fool. Just because they say Adija put my name on it, the bill reached from $15,000 to $71,000. Anyway, she pay the bill. And them I say, oh, I some papi show. So you see the next bill of them sent for the 15th of March, it come up to $63,000. So me decide, say, well, me not pay the bill yeah. So me say, all right, me not pay the bill there. Anyway, them send back a rotted bill now. And say that bill yeah, Joe. Hold on, they don't want to get it mixed up, you know. Them send back a rotted bill now, say that bill yeah, Joe, the 18th of April. See how much your bill come up to you, yeah? Hundred and twenty four thousand. So, because me no want them pull an elephant man for me, I me say alright. I know these people say them pull an elephant man for me and try put it in at the star, put it in at the green. The usual propaganda would them pull off and get to you. Me say alright. You know if you take like a shame out of my eye, me I go pay half of the money, which is sixty. $62,000 and then me I go send money go up to the Jamaica Pussy World Service which is the JPS and query why my bill is, is so high and why the bill gets so high since I put my name on the light bill anyway me pay it so me pay, me pay $62,000 that time in April alright watch you know after money go up there and query query everything them say alright 
come like cartel pick up where I go on. So, guess how much the bill come to for the following month, which is the 17th of May. Remember, me paid half of the 100,000, so them, them balance brought forward 60,000. After we make the complaint up at JP, you know how much the bill come to for the next month? Them drop it to 32,000. See there? Now, Jamaica people, more want to tell me if you don't say JPS, take poor people and take ghetto people and take ghetto youth who have a talent and make a little money and can better them life for them family. You know, say them take away for fool because you know how much richer, richer boy than elephant man of Vibes Cartel who even live beside elephant man and live beside Vibes Cartel. We do the same thing with elephant man, them do. You know how much big private sector and public sector company back meter and thief energy and you don't hear about it but them quick for come down in the ghetto with them police cut off two little man like cut off two little poor people like and create one big excitement for one little four thousand and one little five thousand dollar or them come up town and find the entertainer of them yard because they know so we are ghetto you the same way and try to disrespect way and defame your character and put up on tv and go and be either thing but let me tell you this jamaica pussy world service it may be long but not forever because members say there is tax no evening parliament they take the monopoly off of the energy system. So, look from this, we're going to have more than one company to give a light to choose from. And when that day comes, we can guarantee say the whole of Jamaica I got done with JPS. And that is the end of Vibes Cartel Speaks His Mind, Volume 3, Gaza. And now that name makes sense to even UTG. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts below and let me know what you think. Do you think JPS is stealing? If you have a harder scenario outside of the one I've shared about how JPS robbed you and you were able to recoup some funds, let me know. JPS need somebody to bring the energy to them. Is it like what am I bring the energy bill to we? We need to bring it to them. Don't forget to smash the like button. Leave your thoughts below. Comment, subscribe, and share.